Marco loves maths, he likes laughs, he draws graphs, and generally does anything he can to make mathematical concepts fun for everyone via games and workshops and exhibitions. All this while still being a student at the University of Pisa, working on analytical models for the development of cancerous cells. The tower at Pisa is famously a little bit off-center. I think you'll find the same might apply too to our Italian fame lab champion, Marco Bellino. <laughs>
from when we start and wash our teeth and decide, wash our tools and have a shower and decide which we'll do first. Is wash our hair, the ones who have it. Uh, or, <laughs> or wash our body. <laughs> And that is a mathematical decision, there are... <laughs> so, pretty much everywhere, really, in, in the simplest things we do. Um, it was interesting that you said that some people studying actually what kind of math should be taught at schools. So I'd like to ask you this question, um, if you know. Are there different types of people that are attracted, let's say, towards algebra and different types of brains that are attracted towards geometry? Is yeah, there a different the whole point of, of my studies, of my talk, is that it's not a matter of algebra or geometry. It's a matter of finding the kind of mathematics that is suitable to what you are interested in. It might be a combination of algebra and geometry. And Post-match analysis, but Mark Colferigo and a grand error of magic.